two and a half right there. What's up YouTube? We're in a new spot today. We're fishing in a little place called Crossroads, Texas. Me and my buddy Pierce, he's told me about this spot. He is over yonder. I see him on the other side of the pond. Looks like he's been out here for a second. If I'm not mistaken, he's throwing the chatterbait and I might do something similar, throw something moving. I might bust out the uh, lipless crank or something to start. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple rods out of here and we're gonna get things started. I might throw, I might just throw a Texas rig first and see what happens. The water clarity is not the best, so let me get out these black and blue banditos. I have like some watermelon red, but I was thinking about just black and blue. Toss this on. Or are you not feeling it? It's dirty. That's dirty. Go look a little bit closer. Okay, let me see what I got. Let me see what I got. Give me that. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Calling me out. Well, he's been fishing it, so he says it ain't dirty. We're gonna find some natural colors. Bam, baby. All right, let's go. Got him. All right, let's not get us kicked out before we even get started over here. What's over yonder by said fountain? A little structure out in the middle. No water flowing, they might be hanging out by it. We're fishing the Cross Oak Ranch Pond. You used to call me baby, now you're calling me by name. Little drain right here I'm trying to hit. This drain, it leads up here. Oh, there's a bait. There's a little bait fish. This corner could be attracting the bass. Just saw a little fish surface. In fact, I say little, but he was maybe four inches or so. He's a decent sized little guy. I bet you the bass are hanging out just on the outskirts of this because the wind's blowing this way. I'll, I'll hit one cast along this bank and bring it back towards us. And I'll see if I can't find him. Okay, that drain leads in here. Watch this. Oh, there's a nice size bluegill. Oh my gosh. I see these cables that come off of this fountain. Look, there's little fish everywhere in here. Oh my God, the drain leads in here. Guys, this could be bass paradise. so nervous I don't want to spook him. I know there's bass in this little thing. I know it. Yep. Oh my god. Oh my god. Found him baby. Yee yee. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all they are in here. Yes! This is the sickest catch ever. I knew they would be here. Golly, the bandito bug slams. Taking this out of the John B. textbook. <laughs> he just pointed this out in the video where we were fishing the creek. He said if you're trying not to spook the fish in the area that you're fishing at, you definitely want to get a release kind of further away. Check him out. Yeah. 10 pounder! <laughs> Pierce is over there cracking up. Uh, you want to release the fish a little ways away from where you caught it because it could spook the others in the area. And so he's going to grow big in that, in that side. He probably never even knew about that. He's probably been over here since he was a little wee bass. That was the first cast in here. I'm just going to clean the bandito bug off and make another cast over there. Okay, let's go. Dude, I was so stoked. I saw the, I saw the drain. It leads in here. There's big ones in here, I bet. I seriously bet there's a two or three in here right now. I've got Pierce tripping. <laughs> he's throwing, he's throwing the chatter bait in ten by ten feet of water or a swim jig or something. The Florida, yeah, dude, this is awesome. <laughs> we ain't in Texas no more, y'all. How funny is this, guys? It's like the main road out here, the entrance to the neighborhood, cars rolling by, that main body of water. I saw that drain and it leads right into here in the corner, this one. And I'm telling you, there's got to be a three pounder in here that just dominates and calls this thing home and it's his own pond, man. He's got to be the king of the area. And I think I'm on the left side of this fountain now. I might have messed that up. Or maybe that's a good spot to be. We'll see. I just want to get close to this fountain, but not too close. You know what I'm saying? The, oh! Oh! Bro, that fountain's where it's at. 
They are here. <laughs> is this not the funniest thing you have ever seen? It's like 20 feet from me to Pierce. This is perfect. Go on, little bud. If you're wondering the setup, um, we got the uh, favorite defender rod by Lunkers TV, 7.6 heavy. So this thing will yank a half a pounder out of here like nobody's business. We recently picked up the Metanium DC reel. It's the newest one in the lineup. I'm loving it. Um, you know, it acts up with the 17 pound fluorocarbon more than my other DCs do. It doesn't like it as much as like a lighter fluoro or, or even braid. And um, that's a phone call. And then we're throwing the Bandito bug in this natural color with a quarter ounce Wu Tungsten weight. Hey, check, check this out. Can you FaceTime for half a second? I just pulled two out of here. It's like 10 feet by 20 feet. It's like, the, it's like the entrance to the neighborhood, but in the distance over there is a bigger pond and it's like muddy. And then over here, it's kind of clear. Bye. In 10 minutes, it, like total fishing time, probably five minutes. Cause I was goofing around, taking video, acting a fool. It's been a real little pond. I'll see you around. Action over here. Oh, definitely a bite, 100%. Where'd he go? All right, I think we're gonna try another spot. All right, y'all, I got the black and blues for real now. This is extra muddy. We just pulled up to the second spot parked right over here. I fished this larger pond in this uh, neighborhood before, but I don't remember if I cast it in here the last time. Yeah, it's a little muddy. Where are you at? Oh, there you are. There we go, I found them on their point. Okay, let's go over here. All right, we're about to hit this whole bank line right here. Wind's blowing our direction. He's got a little red pattern. I'm throwing this black and blue, and I'm gonna kind of follow along, cause we'll see what they want. Yeah, a little. Yeah, this breeze is kind of chilly. <laughs> Wait a minute, what you laughing at? <laughs> oh, oh. Yep. Wow. Wow, dude. Like, is, this is not a bad fish. This is not a bad one. I don't think it's that big. It, uh, come on. Come on. That could be a two and a half right there. All right, we just pulled the first one out, guys. Decent size, at least, out of the day. We left that last spot, came over here, fishing this windblown bank right along here, uh, throwing the chatter baits. What color is yours? Red craw color, and I was following them along with the black and blue, and it would help if I turned the scale on first. There we go. That's a two and a half right there. Solid two and a half to get things rocking and rolling. Hey, I can dig it. Hey, screw the shoes. Dang, what a release. <laughs> Let's get some more, man. But you know what it was? I was pulling it through grass. It was trying to fight me through it. That's why it felt uh, heavier than, than even maybe two and a half. It was just a good fight. And this setup here, I'm throwing the Scorpion DC, guys. I got 30 pound braid on here. It's actually green, it's like bright green, but I Sharpie the, uh, the end of it black, so it's a little more subtle. Not like it would matter on a day like this anyways with the water clarity being what it is. And I've got a Z-Man black and blue chatterbait. Man, the gold standard, everybody loves this chatterbait, and I'm throwing a uh, black and blue bandito bug as the trailer. The tail feathers, man, that, that gets them right there. Mm. Is this 7-1 medium heavy fast fate black rod by 13 fishing and it's like it's pretty soft i don't like it for a lot of things now when i compare it to some other rods that i have but for something moving like this it's great it's got a, more of a softer tip for a 7172 medium heavy so that's the setup let's get back in here stop talking and try and get another one let's go do it yep that's fine we 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 milked this for what it's worth <laughs> well now i'm switching it up I'm, I'm hunting on the bottom I'm just doing the, just the bandito bug. Just the bandito bug. This is gonna be terrible too, trying to bring something in if I hook it, cause it's gonna be just. You should get a bite in that wood. That's what I was hoping to just kind of reel it back on through. Hey, hey, Charles, Jimmy, calm down there. Right, Dan, there's, there's six dogs in there. Seven, I see seven dogs. Hey. <laughs> Dude, that's the spot. Ooh. If you don't cast in there again, I'm casting in there. Go for it, bro. Okay. We'll hit it. Oh, that's the... Oh, I want to pull a five-pounder out of this right here. 
Oh, oh no, no way. Oh, don't talk about it. Daniel B about it. Where's the camera? <laughs> Daniel, sir, what is you doing? <laughs> All right, give him the story. That was funny, okay. So that little brush pile, all that wood coming off that point right there. This fish donked it the first time. I almost knocked the rod out of my hand. I made the other cast in there with the same chatterbait, man, and then, bink, we got a little squeaker. But hey, it's still a fish. <laughs> Yes! I don't know if we're gonna call it and go to the next spot or a couple more casts here, but we about to figure this thing out. That was awesome. That was cool. <laughs> <laughs> we're calling it. We didn't get anything out of this body of water. He uh, cruised the whole bank. Pierce took that shad chatter bait all the way around this place. And I hit the majority of it with that crank and then switched over to the Texas rig. I did get some bites back there. And both of them were like kind of solid hits. It's kind of funny. I'm sure it was bluegill or something. But anyways, yeah, that's, that's that successful day. Yeah. Two at the first spot, kind of the first spot. I kind of walked across the street and hit the little baby pond. That was awesome. Wouldn't expect to catch fish in that little thing. And then uh, we moved over to another area of this neighborhood and we got that two and a half on the chatterbait. I was not prepared to catch that fish either. I was just thinking we ain't gonna get bites. It was so muddy and just, it was good. It was good. You got two total. All right, so I went today. He's won all the previous, all the previous uh, outings. So he's still in the lead. I gotta catch up. <laughs> we will be back. If you're interested in any of the rods and reels, any of the tackle, all that good stuff, I link it down in the description below for you guys to check out. Till the next one, guys, I gotta figure out how to unlock the Subaru. Peace. <gasps>